Gentlemen, it is now time for our Red Lion Hotel's co-main event of the evening. It is set for three three-minute rounds of professional welterweight kickboxing action. Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Justin Moss. Mr. Justin Moss out of Muay Thai of Colorado fighting here in our co-main event of the evening a professional kickboxing bout. Two professional fights to round it out here for the 13 fights, 11 are in the books. Three three minute rounds. Checking out our tail of the tape, very close in age with Moss being the elder by one year. They are even in height and weight and- And tattoos. And tattoos. <laughs> The MMA record for Moss, three and four for Hardwick, four and three. The kickboxing record for Mr. Moss, five and three versus the undefeated kickboxer Hardwick. He is three and oh. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. One fight away from a Lethway. First time in North American soil. But we have a pro kickboxing fight first. Look at that ink. <laughs> He's got like $8 worth of tattoos yeah. there. <laughs> Maybe 8,000. Yeah, probably closer. That's some intricate work there. Kind of admiring it. Yeah. Well, we mentioned Muay Thai of Colorado for Mr. Moss. His opponent, J.D. Hardwick, represents another of Colorado's standout gyms, Easton and Elevation yep. fight team. So both these guys, just tremendous training, and uh, that's why they're pros. Anticipation building for these co-main event and the main event. A guy that takes a fight anywhere, LT Nelson, highlighting that main event against Estevan Payan in the Lethway Pro 165 pound match. But again, pro kickboxing at 170 coming your way now. What's well, such a common phrase? I'll fight anywhere, I'll fight anytime. LT personifies that, and also, he'll fight any style. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. Boxing, kickboxing, just signed a new three year contract with Glory. And his opponent. Fighting out the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner, please welcome J.D. Hardwick. Anticipation rising, temperature dropping. <laughs> Fights have moved along. We're closing in on that 11 o'clock hour, though, JR. The battle, the battle of getting the sweatshirt over the gloves again. <laughs> and more intricate ink being shown. Quite the trunks. Getting all greased up and ready to roll. Three rounds, glory rules. Three three-minute rounds, pro 170. Justin Moss, J.D. Hardwick. Referee Eric Hines taking control of the Ladies action for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event is brought to you by Red Lion Hotels. <laughs> Let's meet the fighters. First. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing Muay Thai of Colorado, Justin Iron Man Moss. 
the Iron Man, and his opponent, fighting at the Nutrition Company of Shy and Blue Corner from Tacoma, Washington, representing Elevation Fight Team and Easton Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, JD Deadshot Hardway. Deadshot, baby. All right, this is our first pro fight of the evening. I expect you to act like pros, listen to me at all times, touch them up, we're going to do it now, and let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. The Battle of Ink. <laughs> Hardwick in the red. Moss, or excuse me, Moss in the red. Hardwick in the blue. All right, here we go. Mutual respect. Now let's bang. Oh, these guys are oh, throwing. hard exchange. Both guys knocked each other off center. One thing about pros is when they everything is thrown with bad intentions. Great check on Ooh. the inside kick there by Moss. Big overhand right hurt. Hard hurt Hardwick as he was coming forward. Moss just throwing blistering shots to the body. Then going downstairs, switching up the level. Nice combination upstairs. Not exactly what I'd call a feeling out process no. here. <laughs> Hardwick trying to get off with some leg kicks. Hardwick is a good combination in out. Yeah, big kicks too, big power kicks. Oh, working that. Ooh, working the skip knee. Didn't quite have contact. But no. A little something Hardwick's going to need to be aware of. A little bit of feigning as well that's working. As this is a pro bout, you are allowed to knee to the head. Back on your legs, JD. Back on the legs, JD. Back on the legs. Cornell Hardwick saying go back to leg striking. Moss with a one-two punch, but Hardwick gets off with the left. Moss looks focused. Another leg kick by Hardwick. And then going upstairs. And again, the jumping knee by Moss. Oh, these guys are just so tough. Yeah, stiff left by Hardwick as well. Moss loading up that right hand, tries for that uppercut, then the knee up against the cage. Those glory rules, if you're clinched up and not throwing something pretty devastating, they're going to break you apart pretty quick. Yep, let's see the action. That one split the guard. Ooh, nice uppercut. Then going into the knee. And that was called for by his corner. Moss doing a great job listening to his corner man. Seen that all night long yes, as well. Yes, we have. Ooh, Hardwood coming back strong. Good head movement by Moss. Moss dropping his hands a little bit tauntingly. Hardwick was found some uh, a home for the leg kicks that's worked for him. Good opening round, 10 seconds left in this one. Front snap kick. <clears throat> Turning back kick, nothing but air. One round in the books. Good first round. Both fighters able to land some solid shots, but I have Moss going away with round number one. Yeah, I agree with you. Just uh, busier. Landed the higher number of strikes. And, and the difference between when you watch the amateurs and how these pros throw it, they get the rotation of their hips in. Their kicks have a lot more power to them. Yeah, and we'll see that on the replay here. Just everything is so crisp, so precise with such deliberate power behind it. Hardwick backing up, taking some punishment here. Body shots there, and then the knee comes back, and he comes back with a nice counter. Yeah, Moss had a few times in that round where he really worked some combinations to the body nicely. Whee! Yeah, a little bit of <laughs> telegraph there, and uh, Moss saw it coming.
Ooh, up in close. Tap yeah, it, go. I was going to say, they both just walk right to the center and willing to stand there. Let's do this one in a phone booth. Oh, and Ooh, I, think I think Moss hurt his foot or yeah, his Yeah, I do too. Boy, and he's really coming forward with the knees and trying to finish it. But, boy, Hardwick comes back with a nice flurry. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. I believe it's the left foot or ankle of Moss. Well, seems like he's moving well on it now. Yeah. Adrenaline's an amazing thing. <laughs> Ooh, that one split the guard. Nice overhand right. Another power punch. Hardwick gets a kick off as well. You know, just when Moss seems like he's taken over, Hardwick counters. Yeah, Hardwick always keeping himself in the fight. Oh, a nice left came in. Moss felt that one. He backs off a little bit. Nice combination, but Hardwick comes back with yeah. counters as well. Moss going to the body again. They call money in the bank. Shots don't necessarily knock out your opponent, but they'll drain the gas tank. A little something to help you out later on. <clears throat> Close fight, a minute 28 left in this round, and a nice sweep there. Yeah, nice catch and sweep. Stiff jab, now the overhand right. Ooh, big right hand. And Hardwick just allows himself to be backed up against the cage and stayed there, just kind of planted his feet and didn't seem to have interest in circling off. Yeah, I thought maybe he'd move to the left or right yeah. after that first left came in. Harder continues to go downstairs and Moss continues to hit with the fists. Nice quick left by Moss. Harder with a good punch. Right up against the announcer's table here, up against the cage and Moss being busy. Pretty Puts that power into those strikes, did Moss. Not quite winding up, but definitely putting more on him here at the end of the round. Yeah, blood starting to trickle from Hardwick's nose. There's another uppercut into the knee. And some blood trickling from the nose of Hardwick. Boom, nice uppercut landed. Oh. That got through. That'll do it for round two. We're going to go to round three. Both these fighters leaving it all out there for sure. Look like they're in great shape, especially Moss. Hard fought bout. And Moss, although he wasn't limping back to his corner, I saw him look down at his foot. So we'll see if they tend to that with ice or anything. Yeah, tr or try to ignore it so that the <laughs> other corner doesn't see it. Yeah, exactly. Some gamesmanship there. You're right. And, uh, seemed to me that it was the left foot of Moss, but he came into us with wearing the right anklet, like maybe that ankle needed a little extra stability. I'm not sure, but checking it out here on the replay, and as this round wore on, Moss starting to throw with a little more authority on everything. Just trying to put a little more in it, it seemed to me. And you looked at, and you, you pointed out, Hardwick stayed against the cage a little too long, especially on the left-right combination, where that second right came through and scored big. Goes to the body, nice job of switching levels. Barely missed with the uppercut, did Moss. Patient, he stalks his, he stalks his prey very patiently. One round left and then we have left way. How Woo! about it? Some excitement. Little clean up of water there by referee Eric Hines. He's been on cleaning duty this evening. Oh, and Hardwick comes out blistering. Oh, throwing some big shots as Moss Both as well. these guys, wow. Look at the body shots. Moss skips for Man, look how precise and how technical they are. Even in the midst of that kind of a flurry, everything's still just super crisp. Look at the uppercuts that were landed. Now Moss has got Hardwick up against the cage, but Hardwick circles around and out. Did a better job of getting <laughs> yeah. out of trouble. Yep, agreed. Moss goes with the leg kick. 
has started to fold the leg of uh, Hardwick a little bit. That's the first time I've seen either one of these fighters react to a leg kick at all. Knee starting to score and really starting to score with everything right now is Moss. Legs on both these guys reddening up. Boy, staying right in the pocket, too. I uh, love that willingness to exchange. Be right there in the midst of a firefight. Good left hand landed by Moss, and right now Hardwick getting the, the, the short stick of it. Even in the third round, you see the power punch is coming on. And Hardwick again letting his back be pushed up against the cage and staying there. And again, Hardwick 3-0 in kickboxing. This could be his first loss. Oh, big right hand comes up, then the uppercut, now to the knee, spreading the legs apart, and starting to pound away. Beautiful selection of technique by Moss. <laughs> Momentarily, it was Moss letting his back be against the cage yeah. there, but I think he was almost taunting there a little bit. <clears throat> He's throwing everything with a purpose right now. Hard Ooh, to that, hanging in there, but. That knee came up pretty close to being on the chin of Moss. A furious pace by Moss in this fight. Yeah, this whole third round by both guys, super fast. A flying knee almost scored again. I'll tell you what, though, Hardwick and not going away easy. Both these guys willing yeah. to just stand there and take the leg kicks now. Yeah, both these guys could be really <laughs> sore tomorrow. Nobody trying to check anything. Just, all right, you got that one. <laughs> Power shot, digging Woo. with that uppercut. Threw some extra speed on that one, too. Boom. Jab got through. Moss staying busy till the final bell in this one. Hardwick swung for the fences. Moss tries to go with the jumping knee again. And there it is, a little swelling over the left eye of Moss as we close oh, out I think, this fight. And I think at the end of that fight, Moss got cut. I think so, yep. Hardwick, boy, he put everything out there as to take a seat for just a moment. Great fight. Now look at him, just big smiles all around. That's fantastic. Beat the crap out of each other and then <laughs> smile at the end of it. Yep. But uh, both these guys in great shape. They took, you saw the difference between the amateurs and the pros with the way and the intention with the strikes were thrown. Yeah, and the doctor taking a look at that cut over Moss's eye now. Yeah, he, he caught a little something right toward the end. Yeah, right at the end, man. It's leaking pretty good now. Seeing it on the replay, Moss's willingness to just continually press forward and his ability to come out in the third round and maintain a face that was faster than rounds one and two. Well, that when you train for this and you, you train for full nine minutes of going all the way, I think he's. I think the left ankle is what, the one that's not got the support on it is the one that's bothering him. Yeah, I think it's the top of his foot. I think maybe... Uh, a uh, kick was checked, and I think I'm seeing an, a little bit of an egg yeah, develop lump. on the top of his foot there. Got one on man. his foot and one on his eye, but he might have the win. Uh, man, those those foot eggs are brutal. Well, there's no, there's no fat there. There's no <laughs> muscle there, man. It's just bone. Bone and tendons. Big Mo has the word as we're checking out the replay here, and Again, Moss just pressuring forward, unrelenting, throwing that jumping knee. Definitely something he's worked on in the gym because he threw that one out a bunch tonight. <clears throat> All right, Big Mo with the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to your judge's scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Justin Iron Man Moss. Well, when your opponent's clapping before the official <laughs> decision, you know who won the fight. Yes, indeed. 
have a word with Bailey winners, and then it's main event time. It is main and event time. I got with your winner, Justin Moss. Congrats on the win. How do you feel? Feel good. Uh, a little banged up. Um, you know, JD's a good guy, um, but fights are tough to come by. Two guys that were down to throw down, threw down, and uh, he gave me a really good fight, so I appreciate his time. Yeah, very exciting fight between two high-level strikers. Um, what was your game plan coming in, and how did you think the fight went? Uh, you know, my game plan was a little more movement than I did. Uh, I needed to answer his kicks a little more, um, but some things happened in the fight, kind of changed it a little bit. Um, and so just had to navigate. Early in the fight, he was leaning some really hard low kicks. Looked like it might, may have affected your leg a little bit. How was it feeling throughout the fight? Oh, it's fine. Um, I kicked him. I think I broke my foot in the second round. Um, but his kicks were good. I just, a little movement was gone. Uh, I felt harder kicks. I mean, no disrespect to him, but it's, this is what we do. So he had good kicks. Congratulations on a great win. Who do you want to thank tonight? Uh, I want to thank Sparta for getting us up here. Nobody's putting shit on, and uh, they're finding a way to make it done. Uh, thank you to my teammates, my gym. I got a secret coach. Uh, I want to say thank you to him. He's uh, top notch, and he helps me do everything I do. Without any of those guys, my teammates, I can't do this. Congrats again, Justin. Great fight. Thank you. Uh, by, the, by the way, I think I broke my foot in the second round, and, <laughs> yeah. and he is limping hard. But, <laughs> yes, again, is. thanks for Je Jefferson Cisneros and the CEO of Sparta, and as well as Wyoming, for getting fights out. The fighters appreciate it. Yeah, they do. It's, uh, it's hard to get a fight. 